to vlogmas day four. This video is going to be a video that I've done for the past two years, I think, talking about our Christmas budget, because everyone always asks, how do you budget for first it was three, and then it was four, and now it's six children. I started budgeting two years ago, and it honestly has not changed that much, and I still feel very like amateur about it. I don't really have everything down. It has been working for the past two years, but I'm very open to suggestions for the future because having six children obviously can get very, very expensive. I am doing the same thing this year as I have the past two years, and it obviously has doubled since then. We average at $100 per child for Christmas, and that usually includes what the man at the North Pole has brought them also. How we use that budget is where we try to be really cautious of um, like what we're spending because $100 really isn't that much when it comes to like buying toys at retail price. I am a huge fan of buying secondhand, going yard sailing. I think everybody knows this. I'm like, I love going yard sailing and to thrift stores and stuff like that. A lot of the time I will go uh, to those kind of places and look for Christmas presents there. However, this year I haven't done it that much, mostly because they're at that age where they want the same things. There's a minimum of three other kids who would want that same exact item. So I tried to stick to things that I could buy in bulk, so to say, and that's obviously really hard to do when you're buying secondhand at like thrift stores or yard sales. Usually they don't have multiple items. However, if they do, I would gladly snatch that offer up in a second. So this year what I've done more of is I look for sale items, I use coupons, and I use Cartwheel religiously. If you've never heard of Cartwheel, that is an app through Target, and I shop Target and Walmart are like my two go-to places. I don't know why, I just always shop there. Target has an app that you can download onto their phone and I use that constantly to buy the kids Christmas presents. Every day they have one toy, I think it's at least one toy on there that's 50% off, so I will check that daily and see if it's anything that I'm interested in. And then if it is, if I have to buy like five of them for like each of the boys, I'll have like my mom go and Chris go and me go and like just figure it out, we, we figure it out. That is one thing that I have used a lot this year, as well as the coupons. So there's one toy that I got for Lilia where I used cartwheel and I used a coupon and it was on sale So it was like originally like $70 and I got it for like 23 So I'm really really conscious about what purchases I'm making another thing that I've done a lot this year is bought stuff online We do have an Amazon Prime account and I'm not like sponsored by them or anything with that You have free two-day shipping and a lot of the times the prices on there are cheaper than the ones that you would find in stores However, I have not had as good luck these days as I have in the past. I don't know if it's the season or what it is, um, but a lot of the time I will buy things from Amazon. It, for one, it's convenient, and two, it, the price of it is usually a lot lower than when you would go to like Target or whatever. Another thing that I've done this year to increase um, like the big items that we got for Christmas is I would get like one large item for all the kids to share, and I would split it up between the budget accordingly so like we got one big item and then we divided it by six and then that's how we budgeted it into the kids budget that way so like so say it was sixty dollars I'd put ten dollars into each of the kids budgets how I kept track of this is I just on my notes like on my phone I keep let me show you guys I keep a Christmas budget list for example so I keep this is let me see if this is gonna work um okay kind of so you can see just in my notepad I write down all the kids names and then I split it up between what goes in their stocking, what they got for Christmas, and then I have the item that they got and the price that I paid for it. So that way I could kind of total it up in my head as I'm going. Sometimes I'll even put the total down at the bottom. I, I just haven't updated it yet. That way I'm not like guessing, oh, how much did I spend on Christmas so far? Do I still have to buy like $20 worth or this amount or this amount? So it just helps me keep track. And we have all six kids on here and we just have like all of them listed with Things. And then at the bottom, I'll usually have ideas too of things that I'm wanting to get them. So overall, like I said, the budget is $100 per child. However, that is kind of lenient. Landon, we didn't spend quite as much on. That's probably because he's younger and just the things that we bought him just weren't as expensive. So we tried to stick to $100 per child, but some of them are a little bit higher. Some of them are a little bit lower. One of my main priorities is to keep the, the amount of presents the same between all of them. I just feel like it's more fair to have everyone have the same amount of items in their stocking under the tree. I just feel like it's more fair that way. So obviously spending all this money at once would be like ridiculous. I try to start buying things early and it's my goal. I know I said this last year. It's my goal to like buy Christmas gifts throughout the whole year. But this year I didn't really get to that either. We just had so much going on with like the wedding and everything. So it just didn't really work out that way. However, I did start buying stuff 
pretty early, probably a couple months in advance, I'd buy things here and there. So I, that is still a goal of mine to start like buying throughout the whole year. I just haven't done that yet. Black Friday was like the only time that I really spent like a chunk of money at once. The rest of it was a li like little by little throughout the last couple months. One thing that I've been thinking about a lot lately, and I remember someone said this on my last video, well my last Christmas budget video last year, someone said something about buying four things. So each kid gets something you want, something you need, something to wear, something to read, I think it was. And I really considered that this year. Um, I didn't look into it too much, and by the time I kind of thought about it, I had already bought a bunch of gifts. That is definitely something that I'm thinking about doing in the future. So if anyone has any other suggestions for Christmas budgeting for six kids, I would love to hear like what you did growing up or what you do with your family. We spent a lot of money on Christmas this year and I don't know how I feel about that. I do love to spoil my kids, but at the same time, I don't want them to take for granted having all that stuff to open on Christmas morning. I kind of have mixed feelings about it. I don't know if that makes any sense. I would be open to other suggestions for Christmas in the future. Some way to make like everyone happy, but not necessarily spending hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on one day. I always spoil my kids throughout the year. I'll get them gifts for their birthday and just for no reason if we just find a good deal on something. So it's not like they're not getting anything throughout the year, which is why I'm kind of reconsidering how I'm doing the budgeting for Christmas. Like I said, that's just like something that's been on my mind and I'm very open to suggestions about what other families do, but that is what we have done this year, and that is what has been working for me for the past two years. The $100 budget seems to be a good amount to where that's not like an excessive amount, but it's still a generous amount, so that's why I've kind of stuck to the $100. Again, I would love to know what your guys' family does in the comments below. I always read through them, and I will be doing a what I got my kids for Christmas video very soon also. Is I have a couple more things that I want to get them, and then I will set all that stuff out, and it'll look like Toys R Us threw up in here. So I'll be doing that video soon, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day. Bye! Bye! <laughs> he just decapitated. This is what shopping for six kids looks like.